Well done, Pat. Thanks very much. It's not easy getting up here. Somebody stopped me in the crowd there a few seconds ago. I, I won't point any fingers, but they said, uh, that man's up there promoting books. Promoting books. This is the Constitution of Ireland. It's not a book. It's not Lord of the Rings. Okay? This is the Constitution of Ireland. Something that I would highly recommend every single individual read. It would take you about an hour and 40 minutes to read it. It lays out your rights as individuals in this country. Exactly. It's not a book. It's the Constitution. Anyway. I'd like to call... Um, who will I call up? Ben Gilroy. Ben, are you there? Where is he? There he is. Ben Gilroy. Folks, once again, thank you for turning out. And it's amazing to me how many people are sitting at home now believing the government are giving them back all their rights at the end of the month. <laughs> no doubt when the winter comes and more lockdowns come, the crowds will come back on the street. But I just want to say, give yourselves a round of applause for keeping it going until then. You are the true warriors. And Ireland badly needs warriors right now, as do many countries all over the world. I noticed in Australia early this morning, the police were very, very rough with the Australian people, simply because they stood up for their rights. So let's send a big round of applause to everyone in Australia, because they do watch this. And folks, I've seen here a lot of divide among the people and people going off elsewhere. Let me tell you, this is bigger than any of us. And if we do not pull together, we will not stop this tyranny taking place in Ireland. And let me give you some good news. When more lockdowns take place, we will stop it. All we need is a hundred thousand people standing here and it stops immediately. Remember that. So once again, thanks very much folks and we will be here in greater numbers, make no doubt about it. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks very much, Ben. Um,